Um, as Mark said, we are poetic licensed. We do um, a little bit of a twist on an improvised show. What you'll be seeing is uh, two poets, two a local DC poets perform their pieces, and you'll see some improv inspired by those pieces. And also, over the course of the show, um, I'll be sitting over on the side watching along with all of you and writing a poem during the course of the show. Um, and so just to show you that I'm not cheating, my pad is blank and I got my pen. Hold on, Stacey, let me just check the whole pad. <laughs> you know, yeah, completely blank. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta check them all. All right, um, so that's, that's how the show will work. Um, and so first up, um, please help me welcome to the stage our first poet of the evening, Michael Oliver, founding of Performing Knowledge Project. <laughs> And I was told the poem should have a poetic theme, um, a Christmas theme. So I had to write a poem because I don't have any Christmas theme. Anyway, <laughs> waiting for Santa. All night I gazed at the chilly grate, hush in its embers. We don't want Santa scorched on his way down now, do we? It's the 12 foot spruce he wants to see, candy canes on every branch, tinsel on every stripe, and the chocolate chips and milk flaunted like a display ad for his pleasing. Last year I offered cherry and mince pie, plus carrots for his crew, and I waited all night for the tinkle, the click, click, click of reindeer hooves, the screech of his sled on I even fell asleep at half past two so that he would have his chance to slip those bowed delights under my Fraser fur. Last year's tempers and green, but he never showed his pink mug absent, his grandpa eyes, nowhere to be seen, no sweater, no crock pot, not even the Rolex. I had carefully starred in my letter north. <laughs> For 74 years, I've sat in this rocker in front of the fireplace awaiting his descent. And I know the skeptics refuse to believe in his peace on earth and free lunch. <laughs> they claim a conspiracy, dupe the duplicitous into good little babies, be good. But we know better, don't we? Why, only last year, reporters sighted his train over the Atlantic. Then in the blizzard of 2002, Rudolph, they say, lit the sky red. But the skeptics cry, foul, no Santa, no Dixon, no elves. Just a bunch of reporters deceiving us well. But this year he'll come, I know it he will. He'll bring me my iPad, my dinner for two, my trip to Jamaica, <laughs> ooh, my city on the hill. He'll bring them, God damn it, he will, he will. So I'll wait like a good little boy. I'll not complain. We don't want coal in our stocking, do we? He'll come. He will, he will, he will. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Santa, we told you not to keep going down the chimneys. One of these days there's gonna be. I know, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. Just a little bloody apparently. Look, Mrs. Claus hired me this year to follow you around. She was worried that you were gonna. She thought you were gonna die this year. So she hired a doctor. <laughs> Uh, she is. You can call me Chad. Chad? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Chad. It'll be nice to have some company on the trip, I suppose. But you need to learn the signals, okay? Absolutely. If something's really wrong, I won't go down the chimney. I'll just get stuck. Okay. <laughs> and when I'm gone, everything's fine. So do you get stuck a lot? I feel like this is something I need to be aware of now. Yeah, I do, actually. I don't want to talk about it. Kind of. Makes me feel inadequate. 
I wasn't, I wasn't going to bring this up, Santa, but when I was seven, you got stuck in my parents' chair. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been 88? Yeah, 88? Yeah. That was a bad year. 1765 Folsom Court, Springfield, Missouri. That's where my parents live. Santa, you have so many names to remember. Thank you so much for understanding. People forget sometimes how much there is to do. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. very strange. Look, no one appreciates it. It was that night that made me want to be a doctor because I said, you know, if Santa, something bad can happen, I want to be there to save his life. So this, is, <laughs> this is kind of a dream come true for me to, to be here as your doctor. Well, <laughs> selfishly, I can't tell you how much it means to mean that much to someone. <laughs> and actually hear it. Um, your wife said that you just you haven't been to the doctor in a while, you need your regular checkups, your prostate, just <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know a lot about that. But. All right, skeptics, gather around. I don't think we should be here. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sitting anywhere. I'm immediately mis mistrusting all of this. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I should try to say this in as few words as possible. Otherwise, it could take all day. But as you know, we've got a situation on our hands. And I think we probably all have very different opinions on it, but we need to, to get on the same page. No, we're all, we all have the same opinion. It's true. <laughs> so it might be true, depending on what you're saying. <laughs> probably not true. Yeah, probably not true. Okay. <laughs> There's well, no way Sam's really yeah, right. Yeah, no way. No way. No way to tell. Yeah. Yeah, she's talking about him. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people out there saying he is. We need, to, we need to come down on the side, and we need to come down hard on Santa. It's mostly Fruit. children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a demographic breakdown. No, I have, I have yeah. a breakdown. Yeah. You do? Children. Yeah. Great. I broke it down. Yeah. It's mostly children. It's children. Yeah. No mercy. Well, let's lay out the oh. facts. It's, it's children that believe in Santa Claus, and it's, it's adults who don't. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What'd you say? Adults don't, adults don't believe in Santa Claus. That's true. That's right. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Not anymore. <laughs> That's true. I, I'm not sure either, actually. I mean, you could have been sure. If, if all those children believe in Santa Claus, I mean, there's not that many stupid children, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, there are a lot of stupid children. There are a lot of stupid children, but I think they'll yeah. all be dumb, right? I brought in, I had a child. I brought in a child, because I... You brought a child? <laughs> <laughs> I brought a child to the skeptics meeting, because I was like, oh. child believe in Santa Claus, we need to break this child down. Oh, that's yeah. a bad thing beside you. <laughs> <laughs> what is, don't touch me. Please tell me. Okay. Uh, 
well, you could work the wedding, you know, like as a caterer. Excuse me? Well, I'm going to Skype her in, sorry. Yeah. I know that everyone's already set up, but you're about to give your bow, but yeah. the connection's like, it's really ha. weird. Ha. Hello? <laughs> hey, princess. Can, can anyone hear? I can hear you, but yeah. I can't see your face. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. What's well, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, you're just an empty chair in the corner. But everyone's here, except for the groom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry about that. We'll get the groom Skyped in in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of attachment at the wedding. Yeah. Yeah, no. Sweetie, can you. Can I. Anyway, I, can I get a well, you? Well, you? You're just an empty chair in a conference room. Sorry, late couldn't be. Late couldn't be. <laughs> Typical failure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, guys, please introduce our next poet, uh, Epiphany, a poet that delivers a message that produces change. I have one reason to be thankful for the holidays this year. That reason is family. Time spent with loved ones eating turkey, singing songs of good cheer. These are the moments that are dear to me. Because schedules get clustered throughout the year, we become strangers who communicate through text messaging, sealing emotions with emojis, smiley face. But during the holidays, I becomes us as we spend valuable time with loved ones that can never be replaced. We have legacies of loved ones that are passed on, strengthening the family's heartbeat, causing their memories to live on. The vitality of our existence carries the most weight because these are the times we are taught to be strong. We hug one another and create bonds that can never be broken. Sips of eggnogs followed by exchanges of laughter solidify the I love you's that were never spoken. Safety and peace are created in life's little things. My family has a way of reminding me of the true essence of the joy that the holiday brings. Because there is no handcrafted present that can ever compare to the warmth of your family or loved one's presence. So please take every opportunity to maximize on the time that the holidays present because there is no guarantee that you will ever get this chance again. I have one reason to be thankful for the holidays this year. That reason is family. Because we had so many 
years where I didn't make you anything. I've always wanted to take up smoking. And I never <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you feel empowered by my gift. <clears throat> Did you make me a Rolex? <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted a Rolex. But I couldn't afford one. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a start. <laughs> so listen, we have a lot of catching up to do. Well, recently I took up smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Just a thing. All right. Do you feel cooler? <laughs> so, you know, yeah, I feel cooler. You look cooler. That. How about you? What have you been up to? I've been fine. Getting very crafty. Uh -huh. <laughs> Trying to find myself through material things. It has a lot No, so as a result, I gift. I don't want anything that buys. Do you like find you just run out a lot of time? Do you think? Yeah. Well, you should use this watch. <laughs> <laughs> your heartbeat now that you're home from college. <laughs> it has to be exactly the right pace, as you know. Of course, Mom. To be in this household and in this family. Of course. <laughs> 20 over 80. Hmm. Um, 20 over 80. I'm doing 20 over 80. Okay, that's your blood pressure, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Communications major. <laughs> See, I knew we would have this breakthrough once your pulse was 63 beats per minute. Oh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> no, it's great. You're you're communicating to me at last. Are you gonna let me in? Am I good? Yeah, we can go in now. Great. Hold on. Let me ring the doorbell. Dad has to let us in and then measure us for her. You guys can come in. It's unlocked. I uh, can't stop. Otherwise, as you know, my pulse and blood pressure will drop. Yeah. <laughs> Great to see you. Look who's here. Home for real. Great to have you home. Great to be home. Our communications major son. Here, I can't hug you, so just just join the jump rope. All right, all right. I'm <laughs> oh, with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <with the> jump rope. <laughs> I'm jumping with you too, even though I don't have a rope. <laughs> that house has been going. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve, son. It's a. Uh, Hi, a package for Mr. Johnson. Oh, okay, hold on one second. Let me just uh, I need him to I need to. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, let me just check. It's like we're gonna go three back and two right, okay? Alright, six. Margins are about one foot at a time. Can I get you to sign this? There are just all these things that I want to say to you, and I've never run the channel. Like I I love you. Greener, 
question. Okay. I, I still know you're there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a cartoonishly large. Where do you normally stand? <laughs>
and I take a look at the skeptics. In my throat, in my fingers, in my stomach, thigh, and in my feet. And I say, shut the fuck up. I am a person and I am doing the best that I can. And you know what, any time that I start to waver, I think back on all those ridiculous holiday cards that my mom continues to send out year <laughs> after year. <laughs> Happy holidays, Hayashi family. Stacy 30, Sandy 27. She still puts our ages <laughs> on the Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> and when I talk to my father, he still gives me money, even though I have a job, and I know what I'm doing, and I am financially independent. But I take it from my mother, and I take it from my father, and I take it from my grandparents who are no longer here. Because I am the inheritance of this family, and I stand here because I love them. <laughs>